how's it going on everyone welcome back to another video uh into this video uh, uh we're going to talk about the game awards so what we've seen here are all the nominee for the mobile game award for the game award on the furthest left we have afk journey and then we have balatro and then we have pokemon trading card game pocket holy name bro. and then there's watering wave and last one is zelda zone zero so who i will be voting uh on which i will be voting does not mean that you should be voting as well because uh let's be honest here i i have bias it really depends on what you want to vote let's talk about the nominees now for the first one is afk journey so for afk journey here's the thing <laughs> when i search up uh is afk journey good on youtube uh no shits here. <laughs> it's include paid promotion and uh yeah it's this video is sponsored. Okay, I'm not saying like they're lying, okay? Uh the thing that I see people talk about FK Journey is uh how good the story is. In my opinion, one of the best gacha game story ever that I ever play is Blue Archive. When I look up Blue Archive, right, because, you know, I like the story, right? So, it's the same as FK Journey. People say the story is good. So, I compare it with Blue Archive. When I <laughs> search up Blue Archive, is Blue Archive good? Welcome to Kivoto. It's not sponsored. I, I, I don't buy it. But maybe the optimization is good. Maybe the story itself is good. Maybe their marketing is through YouTubers instead of, you know, put it on Times Square, like, what in way for Zelda Zone Zero, right? So yeah, maybe their budget is a little bit lower. Actually, I don't know how much they pay YouTubers. Maybe they pay higher or maybe they pay lower, but that's probably why. But the thing is, I don't vote it because I personally don't play it. So I can't say it's good or not. Uh, that's just my opinion. Second one is Balatro. I think I've heard of this game before, but I don't play it. Uh, I search up on Google Play and it have very high rating, 4.9 star on Google Play. This cam, this webcam does not have autofocus. It's four point nine stop, but it's forty nine. It's forty nine ninety. It's a fifteen ringgit game. You 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 pay once and you get all the experience. Here's the thing, live service game is good. Uh, for people that cannot take a joke, it's it's a joke, guys. I play live service game fifteen ringgit for the entire experience. Hell nah, I ain't paying that. That's too expensive. I already paid 20 ringgit a month, which is equivalent to 240 ringgit a year. <laughs> I already have that experience of a, a full price game. Oh, So, uh, next one is Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. So, I actually searched up this game as well. And maybe this is it. Pokemon TCG Pocket, right? Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. This one. And it's a... Uh, it's a, it's 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 a it's a it's a TCG game. I mean, the <laughs> now here's the thing. The only TCG experience that I have is through Genshin. I I, I don't play TCG, so uh, I'm not a fan. I, I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's definitely way better than whatever Genshin has to offer because you know that's not like the main focus, right? So of course it's definitely good. I, I'm not voting for it because you know. I'm just not a fan. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not a fan. I'm just saying the game is bad. Okay. Now, for the next one is Watering Wave. Now, <laughs> this is a mobile game award. So, as a game, as a gacha game on PC, maybe, maybe Watering Wave do deserve it. But. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get so much dislike on this video. <laughs> uh, 1.0 experience on PC is kind of terrible. And 1.0 experience on mobile is... <laughs> um, may maybe it's decent on iPhone. But on Android, it's... Uh, it's... Uh... The question is, will I vote for Warning Wave for Mobile Game Award? <laughs> uh, 
Um. What have you wanted to wait for? Mobile game board. No. <laughs> yes, sure, I said. Oh. <laughs> sure, the game. I think the game's gotten better, okay? I, uh, the 1.0 experience, it doesn't exist anymore. But as a day one player, on PC and mobile. <laughs> I don't think I will vote for winning a wave. Uh, uh, I'm not saying they don't deserve a game award. They definitely deserve gacha game in general award. But as a mobile game, I, I don't think this game even slightly deserve it. Uh, what do you call? My biggest try? My biggest... The thing that I really don't like about video game nowadays is sometimes it doesn't work on launch. Maybe maybe day one patch is fine, right? I mean, I mean I'm a Gen Z, so yeah, you know, uh, I'm used to day one patch. I'm not used to buying game on this. I'm actually used to buying game on this. <laughs> Usually I don't buy game on this anymore, so you know. It's fine to have day one patch, but the game doesn't need day one patch. The game needs a bunch of updates. They, they keep they keep updating it, which is good. So yes, I do think when you wave did deserve gacha game in general what. But hey, if you like when you wave, even if you play on PC, sure you can you can vote it. Hell yeah. Personally I really hate when game doesn't come complete because because I don't come from a wealthy family. Uh, when I say I don't want to play Balatro because it's 50 ringgit uh, back in the day, yeah, I would actually say that unironically because I only play free to play game because I cannot afford paying for things. So uh, because of that, I expect the thing that I buy will work day one. But the thing is, what you give, what you with is free. You know, you can you can play it for a while and then you know, uh, if you feel like the game deserves your money, yes, you can. Uh, by microtransaction, right? Zelda Zone Zero. Okay, again, this is my bias. I will be voting for Zelda Zone Zero. And uh, what the f later, 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 I will vote for Zelda Zone Zero. Now, because I enjoy Zelda Zone Zero the most, I will be voting for Zelda Zone Zero. But in all honesty, do I think Zelda Zone Zero deserve Game of the Year? For for a mobile game, um, uh, let's just say that how do how do I search? Yeah, uh, I install this because on launch, right? You know, uh, instead of trying to make the game work, I mean, they did try to make the game work just like one wave, but in order to avoid people that cannot play the game, <laughs> I'm not sure how, but they make phone that's supposed to be compatible with the game suddenly not compatible which means that you cannot install it through google play store uh now you can because they already optimize it you know just like wanting a wave but yeah <laughs> i'm not sure that's on google play side or hoyoverse side but i think that's kind of shady i mean if people have problem with your product and and your solution is to not let them install it i mean i mean it makes sense but you know, if you advertise the game to be able to play it, then it should be able to play it. But regardless of whose fault at that, uh, the end result is people cannot install it through Google Play. But now they can. So, because of uh, ZZZ 1.0 experience, do I think Zelda Zone Zero deserve Game of the Year for 2024 on mobile? Ah. Uh, uh, Again, just like one in brief. Uh, if it's a gacha game in general, I would say that I would I would say yeah, Zelda Zero does deserve it. Yeah, if if there is no Zelda Zero, I would vote for one in brief. Uh, 
if the Alessandro is on that list, regardless of who who they have on that list, I would still vote for the Alessandro. But as a mobile game, just a mobile game only, as a mobile game experience, I don't think the Alessandro is that good. I mean, I like it. I like the game a lot. But this is coming from someone who play on PC. So my my experience is probably way different than you. So yes, that is who I will vote. Hillary Clinton. I will vote for Hillary Clinton. Clinton. Yes. Who's who's Donald Trump fight again? Yeah, I don't think it's like Joe Biden, right? Donald Trump fight against in the office, right? In in the office. In in the office. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm not American. Uh, a quick guide to the U.S. president elect. I I think it's a woman, right? Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Oh, it's this person. Yeah. So yes. Uh. So yes, um, I will I will vote for uh, Zelda Zone Zero, and I hope Zelda Zone Zero won. But if if I disregard my bias, because I really don't like when the game doesn't work on launch, uh, I will not vote for anyone. But because I have bias again, because I have bias, I will vote for ZZZ. That's the game that I enjoy the most out of all. Uh, I'm not saying if Kijuni, Balatro, or Pokemon TCG doesn't deserve it. So yeah, I'm just going to use my bias a again. Also. I believe it's only like 10%, right? Uh, everything else is like based on like the jury itself. So it's only it's only 10%. I mean it doesn't matter in the, in the first place even. So yeah, uh yeah, that that's who I will that's the game that I will be voting. If you guys like this video, uh like subscribe, clean your room. I'll see you guys in the next one.